in a beachcomber hot tub that's tripping the breaker. For this beachcomber hot tub, the equipment is underneath where the keypad is right there. So you gotta take the side door off. Got the cover off and right away I see some water, which is not good. Got to figure out where the water's coming from. Uh, pump seal. Looks a little beat up. The seal for the circ pump is leaking. And it's spraying up on the wall there. You got to replace that. There's a tip for everybody. Whenever you're putting a hot tub on a deck, make sure you can get all the way around it. So if you have to get to a leak or anything like that, all the sides can come off and you have room to work on it. I know it looks fancy and stuff like that, sticking it in like this, but don't do that. Hey, okay, so I have a hard time fitting in here. So what I'm gonna do is to try to figure it out. I, I see they have an ozonator, so that normally is one of the biggest culprits. It's the element and the ozonator. Now this spa pack doesn't have just the plug that you can pull off the circuit board. So a little harder to take off. You gotta take the bolts off there. Um, so I'm just gonna unplug the ozonator and see if, if that's what it is. So there we go, we got the ozonator unplugged right there. If you're not sure where the ozonator is, right behind the door that you take off, right in the back, all your information's right there. So the ozonator's right there. And if we're gonna try the breaker right now. Hey, it still trips. Just, we're just gonna try pump one, see if that's the problem. Normally I, I pump one is the last thing I'll do, but I, like I said, I can't get in there. So I'm just trying to um, do as much as I can by just reaching in there and unplugging stuff. So the element's the hardest for me because like I said, I can't fit in there. So I'll unplug that. Pump one, there you go. Pump one's unplugged. Try that again. Trips right away, so it's not that. So we're gonna disconnect the element. Um, I'm gonna link it right above here, a video that you can watch. How to take the heat tube out and replace the element. But right now I'm gonna get in there and I'm gonna try, try to take the bolts off the heat tube and uh, test it that way. And we'll turn on the breaker and see if that's what's tripping the breaker. I have a feeling it is. Okay, we got the two leads off. Make sure they're not touching. And then try the breaker again. I'll link right above here how to change the element.